Hey guys, Alan Sarge. The dogs are being kind of unruly, so I came out to the shop to make a video. I'm having a late night cup of coffee and a cigar. Look, I've been sitting back watching and I've had fun with it. I've gone onto the community portion of YouTube and posted a few little things, having fun with this whole FBI raid on mar lago but I got to thinking about it even further, and it's striking me kind of funny that people are all of a sudden saying the FBI is corrupt, as if it's a eureka moment. The FBI has been sending a subliminal message of their corruption for decades. They have. Let me explain. The subliminal message they're sending about their corruption is the very name of their fucking office building. The J. Edgar Hoover building. That says it all. Their building is named after a man who is infamous for violating people's civil rights, for illegally gaining evidence, from keeping files and blackmailing politicians even blackmailing presidents, J. Edgar Hoover. Their building's named after the guy. So this subliminal message has been out there for a long time. It, FBI building, J. Edgar Hoover. FBI building, we're a bunch of corrupt, blackmailing, two-faced, civil rights violation, son of a bitches. That's the subliminal message on the front of their building. So it's nothing new that the FBI is corrupt. The FBI has been corrupt for a long, long time. As a matter of fact, in 1998, Harry Reid tried to get a, a, a motion on the floor to do away with the name J. Edgar Hoover on the FBI building. He said it was a stain on the building. Well, the more I've thought about that, the more he's right. That building should have the name J. Edgar Hoover taken off of it. If they can take down Confederate flags, if they can take down Confederate statues, if they can take down statues of our founding fathers because they say they did something, what the hell did J. Edgar Hoover do? J. Edgar Hoover did more harm to the Civil Rights Movement than anyone. So, the FBI hasn't even tried to hide the fact that they're corrupt. They've stuck it in the American people's face every day simply by the name of their office building, the J. Edgar Hoover Building. Come on, guys. See it. See it. J. Edgar Hoover did not leave a legacy. He left a modus operandi. He left a playbook. He left instructions on how it's done how you actually control the government through blackmail and manipulation. And the FBI proudly have that on their office headquarters. A true sign of corruption is the sign on their building. So no, it's not a revelation. It's not a eureka moment. The FBI has been sending that subliminal message for decades. J. Edgar Hoover set the standard. And what you're seeing today is the FBI meeting J. Edgar Hoover's standard, his modus operandi. J. Edgar Hoover needs to be removed from that building. Hey, FBI guys, if you want to start showing any semblance of integrity, get that crooked some bitch's name off your building. Make it happen. If you want to show people that the FBI is changing, take your subliminal message down and do the right thing. Cancel J. Edgar Hoover. But as always, that's just my opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt. It's Helen Sarge. I'm out.